Hello everyone. Today I will be reviewing this uh, Sonoff development board. Um, they're really cool. Uh, as you can see they have these little plugs here where you can connect different things like puzzles as you can see in the back. They're like a jigsaw puzzle that come together. And uh, I bought this little cable. Uh, one end has these three prongs and the other end has these four prongs but only has three wires. So what you do is you connect this like this and um, the board has on these connectors it has these pins. So like pin 14 uh, is this white wire and then we have positive and negative ground and then this plug over here has pin 12 and 13 and this one has uh, pin 4 and 5 and this one just a power connector and then you have a USB port where you can plug it in and flash it. It has a built-in Wi-Fi in the ESP board. Let's put this under the microscope so you can see what kind of ESP it has. Okay, and uh, here's the chip, and it's eight ESP8266 EX. <clears throat> I'm not sure if all the ESP chips have that EX in the back of it, but it looks like also it has uh, upgraded memory. Oops, let me turn this around. Maybe you could see it. It's kind of hard to control. It has upgraded memory than the other ESP8266, so you can um, upload a longer codes already in the <clears throat> now let's connect some things to it okay to uh, upload code to the board here I have um, I found I found this sketch here online it's uh, it's a code for a DHT sensor and um, if you need a copy of it let me know if not just search for some and um, to upload it, you just have to pick your board. So go to Tools, Board. Um, you have to add ESP board to your Arduino file because it doesn't have um, on on standard IDE. It doesn't. It only comes with its boards. You have to add it. So I already added it to mine. There's a bunch of videos online on how to add it. Um, you can use uh, this one. The generic one is for like little ESPs, but um, this one here, you can use. I'm sorry, this one here, Adafruit, has a, and I've been using this one, SparkFun, um, thing development. So we'll just click on that. Then make sure to pick your COM port, the right one, minus eleven. <clears throat> And on your first boot, you have to <clears throat> put the board in the programming mode. And to do that, you press and hold the EF button and then press reset. So before I do that, let me go ahead and upload. And once it compiles, I'm going to do that. I'm going to press and hold EF and then reset. And hopefully I caught it in time. And it's uploading. Okay. We're good. Um, because once you put it in a program, programming mode, it stays there for about maybe, I think, five seconds, and then it exits the programming mode. So it, if it doesn't receive a program in those five seconds, it just exits out. So uh, a lot of these, whenever you compile, it, nor, a lot of times it takes longer than five seconds to compile. So you got to, you know, press those buttons right before it stops compiling and starts to upload. Okay, the sketch is uploaded. Let's look at the serial monitor and let me change this to 96. There it is. So it's showing humidity, temperature, and heat index. And so this little DHT sensor is working. And let me make this bigger. If I can just kind of blow on it, see if I can increase the temperature because my body. Temperature is way warmer. I was going to hold this and see if the temperature increases. There it goes. It's slightly going up to 43. 
of humidity and the temperature has increased just a little bit. Okay, so that works. Now, let me test the Wi-Fi function of this board. Uh, if we go to File, Examples, and um, it comes with standard examples like built-in examples. Then I have, if you scroll to the bottom, these ESP examples come with the board that we clicked on. Remember, we clicked on ESP SparkFun. So these examples come with it. And I'll just upload this one here. We'll go to web, web server and we'll just do hello server. Just a really simple, all this does is it, um, I think it just says hello. Yeah, it says hello from ESP. So over here, I'll just tap in my hobby um, SSID ID. SSID for my router. Um, I think I messed up. Oh no, I did it right. Two gigahertz and then my my password. Let's see, one zero two nine three eight four seven five six. Okay. Uh, let's upload this. Before we do, uh, let me check the baud rate. Oh, there it is, 1520. Okay, I'm going to switch this over to 1520. Okay. And let's upload this. Compiles. I'm not going to press those buttons this time, and I'll just see what happens. Because sometimes you got to press them, sometimes you don't. And I'm not sure if this is going to work without the pressing of the buttons. <laughs> Still compiling. There it goes. It says it's uploading, but nothing. There it goes. Okay. So you don't always have to press those buttons. So if you find yourself having issues with uploads, you may want to press those buttons and put it in upload mode. If not, it should do it by itself. Okay, now let's go ahead and open this. Keep our <clears throat> serial monitor open so we don't miss anything. Okay, it has these little dots connected. This is our IP address. So we're going to copy this address. And we're going to paste it in our browser. That opens up. Paste, enter. All right, it says hello from ESP8266. So the Wi Fi part is working, and you can see there's a red and blue light on. Well, my camera kind of sucks, but you can see those. There's two lights there blue and power. Okay, well, hope you liked the tutorial. Um, I'll try to get the quality of my videos up a little bit. Um, let me know what you think. Please like and comment for any ideas or anything. Okay, have a great day.